Hey guys, it's Huff and I am back again with another comparison video. I have started on my purples, which is going to be uh, quite a feat, um, just to give you some idea. Uh, there, all the polishes <laughs> that uh, I've sorted out and I have probably missed polishes because I have so much purple. And it's actually really hard to just find comparisons when they're not like lined up next to each other on a shelf. They're all kind of like in containers. Um, it's night time here. There are still people up, so there is some background noise, which I apologise for. Hopefully it won't be too annoying and you won't start hearing people screaming in the background or anything. Uh, yes, I have a chip on my thumb now. It's actually a gel polish. I was putting together the shelves, which also cost me this fingernail and this fingernail so yeah um, so we will get into it with the first set of polishes they're from a whole bunch of different colors but they're all purple so like different types of purples uh, so I will start with one of the lightest pairs I have this one here from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer which is an Australian indie which isn't in production anymore but and so cute. Uh, this one is called Berry Bright, a very pale, uh, light purple. And this one here is called Lovely Lilac. This is from some random um, collection that Kmart or something did. Uh, Gvax Limited is apparently the maker. <laughs> so these are the first two I am going to compare. My swatch wheels are a bit messed up just to, you know, make you aware. Um, this one has separated a little bit, but I have shaken it up. It's just still separated. Uh, start right here to try not to bash them. Um, the slightly messed up nail wheel doesn't help me here. This is a pink based purple which would make it a lavender rather than a lilac which means this other one shouldn't actually match because it says lilac <sighs> lilac if I remember correctly lilac is blue more blue and lavender is more pink I might have that around the wrong way I don't think I do but I might this one's formula is a little more watery uh, and a lot stinkier just for reference sake I don't know how well you guys can tell in the swatch yet um, the second coat might make it a bit easy to see but lovely lilac is in fact more blue than berry sweet is so the next pair I'm going to do, one of these is a very new polish, um, I only did a haul on it the other day, um, and that is this one here from Essence, this is Luminosi, it's from the Luminous Glow uh, collection, which is fairly new in Australia, and I'm going to compare it to this Sally Hansen Triple Shine in Draw Machine. Now this is a bit sheer, I know that. Uh, something I found with all of the triple shines that have got shimmer in them is that they have, um, they're not very easy to apply. You need lots and lots of coats or you need to like put them over a white base. So this is the first coat. Now, this is a little bit harder to see. It isn't meant to be full on is meant to be a lighter polish. I can't really see in the viewfinder but I can see, in person I can see a very dramatic pink shift on the nail. Any real thing going for the drum machine are the triple shine, are the brushes which are fabulous. Uh, 
it's probably really hard for you guys to see unless the light's hitting it right. The sheen, the shimmer in uh, the triple shine is purple and the sheen or iridescence in the essence one is actually pink. So that is actually the main difference. Other than that, they look really, really similar. They just got a slightly different colour shimmer to them. Okay, so next pair. We have these two here, going much darker now. Uh, we have this top speed one from Revlon. This is called Decadent. It's a purple with a... It's got kind of a shift to it. It's got like a pink undertone in there. It's got kind of like a bluish sort of shift. And this one here is from BYS and it is called Pouty Purple. I'm not sure it's iridescent. There's definitely blue in it. Like I can see little blue specks in both of them. This one seems to have more of a sheen. But we will know when we get it on the nail. Oops, sorry guys. Let's smack the camera. So this is decadent. As you can see, it is a really nice pinky purple with a purpley blue shift to it. Super pretty. I actually have quite a lot of polishes that are very kind of similar and I will be comparing quite a few of them. Um, so you'll see more kind of like this. So this one is the formula is actually not quite as good as the Revlon one. This one is actually quite an old polish, which doesn't really help. But it doesn't have anywhere near as much pink to it. The shimmer is actually quite similar, but the under under the base colour is actually quite different. And the next three are kind of in a similar kind of vein, but slightly different. So we have Wonder Violet from Maybelline Mini Colorama which is a purple with a pinky red um, kind of but it's quite fine the shimmer in this one and then we have this Sally Hansen one which is purple potion from the extreme wear line with the small X which I think is the older one um, and again, it's this purple with a kind of shift to it. These will probably be quite similar to the two that I just did. And this one here is from Layla, which I love Layla polishes. They're actually really, really good, especially their holographic line. Um, this is one of their ceramic effect lines. They don't have names on them. They just have a number. So this is CE64. This is one of my favorite colors ever. It's purple and it has a blue and a kind of pinky red kind of shift to it. But all of these are very similar. Which is why I'm doing them all close together is because they may well be like very, very similar. So this one is the Maybelline, which is one of my favourite polishes. See straight away this is a lot more like the oops, you probably can't see. It's a lot more like the Revlon. So, it, that is definitely like the Revlon. They don't look as much alike in the bottle. They look like two completely different colours in the bottle, which is why I hadn't actually swatched them like together together. Um, but they do look very similar. And we have Purple Potion from Sally Hansen. Um, that was more the actual swatch wheel than the polish. It's not the best formula, but the swatch wheel is a bit naff. As you can see, they are very, very similar. Again, in the bottle, it's probably a lot closer. See, this is the problem when you've got too many pebbles, is that you kind of stick them near each other and you think, oh, they don't look alike, and then you do it again and you think, hang on a second. So those two actually look a lot alike in the bottle. 
and the Layla one. is actually more like the BYS one. And its shimmer particles are much, much bigger. So, on to our next one. Let's grab a different swatch wheel. So we have these two here, this one here is from Nicole by OPI, this is Oh That's Just Grape, which was one of my first Nicole by OPIs, and this one here is Iced Queen from Maybelline Colour Show. I love Iced Queen, it is an absolutely gorgeous colour, with a great formula. So we will do the... OPI first. If I can get the lid to open. It's a little um, thin. Feels like it wants to pull down the sides. And Iced Queen which didn't want to open, of course. You can see how well I prepare for these videos. The brush is actually better on the OPI. The formula is actually ridiculously similar, though. Both feel a little bit thin. But colour-wise, they are pretty, pretty close. To the naked eye. They are very close. Uh, then I'm going to do these two here, which is another Nicole by OPI, which is the Grape Debate. And I'm going to compare it to Noit de Gaal from Maybelline Color Show. They, they, they seem to like to do similar polishes to each other. This is more of a berry kind of purple. A lot more pink in these than the other ones, and they're warm toned rather than cool toned. Um, if you're wondering where the weird kind of spotty thing is, um, that, that's the swatch wheel that is not plush, and what could I just do? I hate it when that happens. Again, they're really, really similar. The grape debate might be just a touch darker, but I think with two coats, you're not really going to be able to tell, but they are very similar. Wow. There you go. And the last three that I'm going to do for this one are these three here. So we have this one from BYS, which is the most different from the other two, um, mainly because the glitters are a lot bigger. This one is called Orchid Ice. It's kind of a reddy purple with lots and lots of silver um, and pinky kind of shimmers to it. I'm going to compare it to these two, which are much closer to each other. This one here is Tarte from Maybelline Mini Colorama. And this one is Sugar Plum from Revlon Top Speed. So I'll start with the one that I know is the most different. It's just it's a similar kind of colour. Oh, I just stuck my finger in one of the other ones. Oh, look at that brush. It's still going on okay, but the brush is cactus. 
um, the polish is a bit stinky too, which suggests this is a much older one. Um, what number is it? Well, it doesn't seem that late in the line, but it's a beautiful colour. It is a beautiful colour. Now, Maybelline's Tarte. Colors similar, similar, not the same. And lastly, we have the Revlon. which has a much thinner formula but also seems to have a lot more shimmer particles in it or densely glittered it's kind of almost halfway between the other two though it's a lighter version of this one again they're all kind of similar but they're not but certainly at this stage don't look the same so let's go back to our first pair, we have Berry Sweet from um, Angel Kiss Nail Acker. Which is such a beautiful soft colour. Lovely lilac. Which, okay, so tonally they are basically the same. So neither one of them is darker or lighter. This one, which is very sweet, is more pink. And this one, which is lovely lilac, is more blue. It is very, it is a subtle difference, but it is definitely there. And that is literally the difference between a lavender and a lilac, is which way the colour actually leans. So, yeah, they are quite similar. Just depends on whether you prefer the warmer toned, very sweet, or the cooler toned lilac. Lovely lilac. So. so we'll move on to Luminosi from Essence. As I said, this is, it's more like a transformative one. It'll probably look really interesting over a darker colour. Um, which, hang on a sec. lying around a swatch wheel that I painted black for another video so I will put one coat of it's a little streaky so that there is luminosity so you can see it is basically a transformative type polish and then you have a uh, draw machine from the Triple Shine line, which looks terrible in the bottle by the way, but it's fine. So again, it is more purple than Luminosi. Luminosi has more shimmer after two coats, which you guys might not be able to see <laughs> in person. Um, there's more particles in Luminosi than there is in Dry Machine and for the sake of reference and just so you can see the difference in their shimmer 
So that is Draw Machine, much more purple on the black, and Luminosi, which is more pinky, berry toned over the black. So yeah, they both work quite nicely as transformative toppers. Um, or you can have just a really subtle shimmer on your nail. They probably work really well too if you're doing like a French manicure. So they, they're similar but clearly they're not the same. They have very different um, colour shift to them. Oops, I have to put the lid on the right way. <laughs> okay, so... Oops. So next we have Decadent from May, uh, from Revlon Top Speed. And it looks very different after the second coat. Um, it ends up a lot more sparkly. Um, a lot more purpley toned, less berry to it. And then we have uh, Pouty Purple from BYS. After two coats, they're actually a lot more similar than they looked after the first coat. Uh, it's just that the Revlon has much better formula, and it also has a quite distinct, at least in person, um, pinky, reddish sort of undertone to it. This is a much warmer toned polish than this one. It is much cooler toned, more blue to it than this one. But the shimmer in this is very blue which is probably why they end up looking relatively similar on the swatch wheel. Then we'll do Maybelline Wonder Violet, which after two coats doesn't look anything as alike as the Revlon one as it did after the first one. It doesn't have that very strong blue shift that the Revlon has. It's uh, the actual sh sort of shimmer and it is much closer to the base colour. Uh, purple Potion from Sally Hansen. It has a lot more purple to it. It is actually a lot closer to the Revlon, which as you saw in the bottle, they do actually look a lot alike in the bottle. Um, it's kind of lighter though. It would be as if you took the Maybelline and mated it with the Revlon and that's what you got. So it's got more of the base. Sorry guys. Got more of the base of this colour with the shimmer of this one to make this one which it's just got a gorgeous shimmer to it. So but they are all those four are all very similar. And then the Layla Ceramic Effect. So after two coats, the base colour is very similar to the others, especially the two next to it. Right, so these two are darker. These three are all basically the same base colour. This one has a shimmer, but it's much closer to the base colour. This one's shimmer is very, very blue. And this one's shimmer is blue, but it is also much bigger particles. So these are very fine. These two have got very fine shimmer. This one has got quite large particles. But other than that, the actual colour of them is very similar. And um, Wonder Violet and... Um, 
the Layla one are two of my favourite polishes. Um, clearly Purple Potion needs to be added to that because they all look the same. But yeah, basically this sort of colour is a colour that I really, really like, especially these ones. So that's the first slot. And then we will go on to these other ones. So we have the Grape Debate from Nicole by OPI. And we have Iced Queen from Maybelline Colour Show. They are very similar, but what I can see now after the second coat is that Ice Queen is this one's Ice Queen is actually brighter. Uh, the Grape Debate is a little bit deeper. Uh, Ice Queen is also slightly cooler than the Grape Debate. Yes, they are super duper similar. Um, you're more likely to be able to get Ice Queen than you are to be able to get the Nicole by OPI anyway. Personally I prefer Iced Queen. Um, I like that little bit of coolness that it has to it that isn't in um, the Great Debate. But they're both like really, they are very very similar. It's a very minor difference. Um, but yeah the Great Debate is definitely just a touch darker and the Iced Queen is just a touch brighter. And then we have the sorry that was oh that's just grape not the grape debate that's the other one um so this one is oh that's just grape which is the slightly darker of those two light ones this one is the grape debate from nicole by api this swatch wheel is making it really difficult to put on it's got kind of like lumpies on it. So after two coats that is a much deeper colour. It does deepen it up quite a bit. And Nuit de Gaulle, I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. That's not my strength. Languages are not my strength. <laughs> uh, from Maybelline Colour Show. They are very similar. I, I, I'm not going to lie, they are very similar. However, Noit de Gaulle is ever so slightly darker. And the Grape Debate is ever so slightly brighter. It's got a bit more pink or purple to it or something. They are ridiculously similar. Like, you don't need both of them. But again, you're much more likely to be able to get the Maybelline Colour Show one than you are the Nicole by OPI one. Um, Formula-wise, they're virtually the same. Same with these two. Um, yeah. But they are very, very similar. Noite de Gaulle is just a touch darker. That's really the only difference. So that's two Nicole by OPIs that are very, very similar to uh, two Maybelline colour shades. So there you go. Those are very similar. And the last three, we have the BYS called Orchid Ice with its manky brush. The formula looks like it's gone really thick, but it's actually really easy to apply. <laughs> it's not having any problems with it at all. I don't mind a thicker formula, mind you, so that's probably why. Um, then we have Tarte from Maybelline Color Show. Oh, not Color Show, Mini Colorama, sorry. And I'm out of frame. So, colour-wise, they are actually very similar. Um, the BYS is clearly a touch lighter, a bit more pink. 
but other than that, super close. And Sugar Plum from Rev on Top Speed. Um, again, the colours are similar. Um, the particles in this one, the glitter particles in the BYS, are a touch bigger. They're finer in the Maybelline and they're kind of in the middle in the Revlon one. The Revlon one is also the lightest of the three, um, but the base colour is very similar. Personally, I would go for the Maybelline. I think it's actually got the better formula and the better colour. Um, the shimmers are it's also easier to remove. This one's a bit of a pain to remove because it does have slightly chunkier glitter. But yeah, the, the, again, the colours are very super, like they're super similar. Um, but I would be going with the Maybelline myself. So that is it for this video. This is part one. There will be something like five parts or something for this one. Uh, yeah, so if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.